Right, I'll show you now how I packed my uh, rucksack. Uh, first thing, first thing in the rucksack is always the last thing you're going to take out, and that's my sleeping bag. Now it did, did come with a uh, compression, um, a compression sack. Uh, There's no point using that. I wanted something that was waterproof, which is why I've got this. Uh, and you can also compress it in this as well. So if I stuff it in, I'll show you. Well, that's it stuffed in, it's quite big. But now, you can push the air out. Push the air out, roll the top down. There you go. Bit of a weird shape, but now you can mold it. And you can see how little space it takes up. You can now mould it to the shape of the bottom of the rucksack. So when it's in there, it fills up the bottom of the rucksack nicely. Whereas if you add it in the compression sack, it, it turns it into more like a bowling ball shirt the size. And you've got like little pockets of uh, little gaps all around it, which are no good. And that fills the bottom nicely. So that was the first thing I put in the rucksack. Spare clothes. Uh, this is what I had for the, my night clothes, spare clothes, this is what, what it was in it. I'll show you this in a minute, but I'll show you how I pack it first now. Oh. And again, I've got my spare clothes, night clothes in here. My puffy jacket, you can put this into, you, you can stuff it into the, the, uh, the chest pocket. No need to do that. Takes up too much time, can't be bothered. Stuff it into the, the bag of all my uh, clothes. I also as well, if it was dry, my towel, well, it, it, it's a hand towel, but I used it as a body towel. Uh, that went in here as well. And as before with the um, sleeping bag, push the air out. Roll the top down, clip it, and again, you can then mould it to whatever shape you want to, and that goes in. Now, it would be now that I'd put the food bag in next, um, but I haven't got any food with me. Uh, and on the West Highland Way, um, because I was stopping at a lot of the pubs along the way, and some of the campsites you could eat at as well, uh, I only actually took with me three um, mountain house, uh, the freeze-dried meals, uh, and probably, I can't remember how many it was now, six or seven uh, cliff bars. That's the only food I took, but that would go in next. But I haven't got that <laughs> with me, so I can't show you that. But then, the next thing would be my uh, sleeping pad and the, the inflatable pillow, uh, pillow. I normally just roll them up together. I don't bother trying to put the, um, the sleeping pad back in the, the little pouch it comes with. It's, it's too much hassle. I just roll it up this way. When you want to get up in the morning, you just let the air out. Um, roll it up from the feet first. It pushes all the air out. That's a lot easier, a lot easier and a lot quicker than trying to get it back in that little packet that it comes with. Come with. Stuff that in. Oh, what else have I got here? Cook kit. That can go in. Uh, where is it? Oh. Now I'll probably put in now using another little dry bag, all the little bits and pieces that I won't, be, uh, won't need during, throughout the day. The uh, mosquito net, I never actually used that, but I took it anyway. Spare lighter, a multi-tool, headlamp. Uh, if, I, if this was dry, I used to put it in here. If it was wet, it would be clipped on the side of my, my pack, drying off. But that goes in here. 
first aid, toiletries, uh, power brick, and the plug. And this this plug actually you can fold down, fold down the uh, the pins so it's, it's better. But all that. Goes in there. That's my little bits and pieces bag. That all goes in. Uh, what else is there? Oh, the tent. Now, like I said, the um, the poles I clipped to the outside of my pack on the side here. Um, and in fact, if I can take them out, I will now. Is it a show? Yeah. There's the poles, and there's the bag. By taking the bag, the poles out. You can see just how small the tent goes. And the tent goes in next. Uh, then rain gear. I always want to have the rain gear on the top just in case you need to get it out. Over trousers, rain jacket, and the uh, that's the cover for the, the uh, rucksack. That all goes in. Well, I'm just trying to think now how well I pack this. And that is it for the inside of the uh, rucksack. Like I say, the only thing that's missing from here is actually the food. Um, and the front. In the front uh, pocket here, I would have that foam sit mat for easy access. I'll put my West Highland Way map in there. I also put, if I wasn't wearing it, but I was wearing it quite a lot, that sun hat. That, all, that went in there as well. And if, if I had needed to um, use any of, uh, wear any of my um, rain gear, and the rain gear was wet, obviously I wouldn't stuff it inside, that would have gone in here as well. Then on one of the side packet, the pockets, uh, my gloves and the hat went in one side. And I think it was this side that I had the, uh, the tent poles go in there, and I clipped it, I clipped it to the top there, Oh, so I was quite worried about them falling out and losing it, so I got a little carabiner, clipped it to there. And in the other side, like I said, I had two of these uh, water, uh, water bottles. Uh, I had two um, shoulder pouches. One of the shoulder pouches, I can't remember where I put them there. One of the shoulder pouches had the water in. The other water, the other shoulder pouch, I had the tripod in, which I'm using to film this. So the second water bottle, I actually put Put back here but it is a bit awkward getting it out as you're walking so um, I'm going to have to sort that out for next time. Also in this side, saw your squeeze and the, the, um, the water pouch, that went in there, oh, oh I forgot. hand sanitizer, toilet paper, trowel, that went in the top as well because uh, you don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be looking for that in a hurry. And then I had, in this side, the, the, um, the belt pouch there, I had my normal GPS. In the other side, I'd put my uh, um, uh, oat bars or anything like that, any, any snacks I was eating throughout the day, and the um, personal spot GPS, that was just clipped, I can't remember where I clipped it now, I think that was just clipped to the side, it was clipped to the side, something like that, and that is my pack, and that is uh, 8.7 uh, kilos with the food as well, with uh, three mountain house meals and about six or seven uh, cliff bars.
So that was it. Ideal, thank you very much. Any questions, leave a comment. Right, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. If you haven't already seen my, uh, my videos for the West Island Way, you can see that here. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll probably be out on Dartmoor doing some wild camping, so uh, I'll be recording that and, and posting those as well. So if you like to subscribe, you can see catch up on those. And also, uh, in about a month's time, I'll be starting another uh, uh, long distance trail. So thank you for watching. Bye.